A small business owner took out a loan to cover the purchase of a new piece of equipment for their assembly line. The equipment had an initial cost of $25,000 to purchase and was expected to return 6% annually on the original purchase price over the first eight years. Assuming no maintenance costs were experienced over the eight years, illustrate the cash flow diagram that best represents the scenario from the business owner's point of view. So let's go through the solution. Our first step to solving this problem will be to determine the identity of each transaction. We can do this in its most simple form using a table such that, let's have this column be the year, and we know the period is eight, so we have zero, one, two, three, all the way to eight. And the second column, let's make this cash flow. So looking back at the problem statement, we see that the business owner makes a purchase of $25,000, that's money out of his account, at the beginning of year one, or in this point, zero. So we put a negative 25,000, and after the purchase, it is expected that the company would get a return of 6% annually on the original purchase price. So 6% of 25,000 is $1,500. And this will run for the remainder of the period uh, that we are analyzing, which is eight years. Now the next step is to summarize these expenses and credits in a graphical form on a cash flow diagram. We are analyzing over an eight year period so we can draw a horizontal line with marks representing, representing one year periods all the way through year eight. So the original cost of the piece of equipment was $25,000 and this is illustrated at the beginning of year one as an expense or a minus because it's going out of the business owner's account. At the end of year one, the expected return on the investment begins to be recognized by the business owner. And this is a receipt of $1,500 or like the problem statement said, 6% of the original uh, price of the equipment. Now this receipt is recognized for the remainder of the defined period of eight years. So we can put vertical lines uh, all the way to the end. These receipts are illustrated on the cash flow diagram as positive vertical arrows at annual increments. So that's about it. Now there are a few common ways individuals trip up on a problem like this. One way is to incorrectly account for the expenses and credits as they are seen from the business owner's perspective. It is important to note that all receipts are counted as positive transactions into the account, so vertical lines in the positive direction, whereas purchases, expenses, are viewed as negative transactions out of the account, so negative lines are, are arrows downward. Also, we could have incorrectly deducted the positive return on investment of a 6% from the original purchase amount of $25,000. The problem states that the return on investment is based off the original price for the duration of the lifespan. So if we were to subtract the return on investment from the original purchase amount at the end of each period, each subsequent period's ROI would be less than it actually is. So it would look something like this with a decreasing ROI. And uh, this is incorrect because we're subtracting the ROI from the original uh, cost of the equipment. But the problem statement says that that ROI is con constant, uniform across the period of eight years.